Like you guys, I have not vlogged in I don't even know how long and it honestly feels weird to vlog but like I'm just gonna go with it and just see how it kind of like turns out but I thought like this vlog would be perfect to just kind of like update a little bit on just my life and whatever there has been so many different things I feel like that has happened recently that I feel like I should update you guys on so basically I am in a brand new apartment and this is the first time that i've ever lived like by myself on my own even just throughout college and like a year after college i lived with a roommate and this is my first time living alone it's currently january 2023 and i'm just so excited for 2023 in general like i don't know why but i just have like a really good feeling and i really hope it's not wrong okay so first and foremost i got my own puppy okay so the moment that i'm introducing you to Smokey, he has gotten so big like literally so big and it's so sad um because he used to be so little and now it like hurts to hold him with one hand for a while honestly it's so sad i just i don't want him to get any bigger but yeah this is my little babies um i just took him on a walk so he's probably like really tired now as you can see yeah he is currently like three months a little over three months old still like a little baby he's still a little baby and he's also an s-h-i-t head he's, he's honestly like the worst he's a menace to society because i swear like he just doesn't listen shocker <laughs> coming from a puppy but he is the biggest cuddle bug and so that makes up for it why are you acting so good on camera this is like i love that puppies nap so much because if they didn't i would probably go mentally insane uh, i'm gonna put him in his bed and also just try and make some breakfast even though it's like almost 12 in the afternoon but i haven't eaten today so i'm gonna try and make some like eggs and like a hash brown or something comment down below if you love smoky as much as i do you gonna lay down come on lay in your little bed come on just lay in your bed there we go <gasps> good boy okay now lay in your bed that's not in your bed hmm why don't you listen to me i'm gonna try and make some eggs and maybe like a bagel that sounds good lots of carbs lots of protein which by the way i am really trying to just freaking eat i feel like i've been at the same weight for so long and not necessarily like the weight that i would like to be so actually like these next two and a half months i'm doing this thing called 75 hard and if you haven't heard of it it's basically a 75 day challenge so like two and a half months of doing two workouts a day. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Stick to like a diet plan, which technically I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do. I just know I'm going to need to eat and eat and eat and eat. Drink a gallon of water a day. Um, read 10 pages of a book, at least 10 pages of a book. Take a progress picture every day. I don't know if I'm missing something. Oh, and also the two workouts have to be two 45 minute workouts, one in the gym, doing like weight training, some sort of weight training, and then one outside, has to be outside for the second workout. Oh, and also no alcohol. No alcohol for two and a half months. People just say you just feel so much more energized, you feel so good about yourself, you really do see a difference in your body, but not just your body, but like mentally, you're a lot better. So I actually didn't have like any like meal prep containers, so I just got these from Amazon. And these are glass ones with just like plastic um, airtight kind of lids. Also, I've already mentioned my um knife set and my toaster on my instagram but i will leave a link down below where you guys can shop these like on my amazon storefront because they're actually pretty affordable and they just look so cute in my kitchen i'm obsessed try to make some eggs a bagel and hash brown, hash brown. Setup 
right here. I'm not like really a pancake waffle person unless I'm like actually out at a restaurant. But like if I'm making something at home, it has to be salty and savory. So like a bagel, hash browns, eggs, avocado. This is my trifecta. This is exactly what I want in the morning. I have like my Yeti that um, I'm pretty sure if I fill this up like four, four and a half times a day, that equals a gallon of water. So I'm gonna need to drink four of these. <laughs> also for 75 hard, I'm gonna be reading this book. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. I posted this on my story and literally everybody said that this was such a good book so I'm so excited to start this. Also because the 75 hard challenge is gonna be really difficult for me habits wise and it is for everybody else as well. I just feel like this book is probably gonna help me tremendously throughout the next two and a half months and hopefully um, helps me get rid of the bad habits in my life and just think of new good habits that I can incorporate into my lifestyle. So this book, oh my gosh, it's such an easy read. It's so tiny, but you guys, I loved this book because again, it was so easy to read and you really didn't even have to. It's not like one of those books where it's gonna say all these big words or like try to confuse you or anything. Honestly, it's helped me a ton with like overthinking and just thinking in a different way, I guess. Like just to not like think so much and just how your thoughts um, can turn into long-term thinking and how that just can destroy you over time. So definitely check out both of these books. I feel like um, if anybody's looking for like self-growth books, for sure check these two out. Um, again, I'm not a reader, so honestly, if I can finish this book, then so can you. I just want you guys to see like this is how he likes to sleep with his head hanging somewhere. All right, I'm so full right now, like, but right now, I, as you can see, I did my hair with this hairstyle that I've been doing a lot lately and I've actually been getting a lot of questions on how I do it. It's actually like not too, too difficult but I'll probably end up doing like a hair and makeup video here soon where I can show you guys how I do this hair because it's really not that difficult but I can see why people are like, you know, how do you do that? But now I did my hair because I need to film a brand deal for like a TikTok um, for a makeup brand. And so yeah, I need to just do my eye makeup beforehand. I'm using um, In Beauty Slushy Serum Moisturizer Crush um, on my face first. I don't know why, but like this stuff just really like transforms my skin. It's one of my favorite like serums slash like moisturizers. I do end up usually going with another moisturizer on top, but I usually go in with this first. They just came out with an eye cream and this is their bright and tight eye cream. Visibly improves dark circles and wrinkles, instantly brightens, infused with vitamin C, tranexamic acid, and peptides. This eye cream specifically, I'm obsessed with because it has like a beige tint to it. So I'll show you. It looks like that. So you know it's gonna be almost like really gonna color correct your dark circles, but it's also going to brighten because I feel like it has like the smallest amount of like, not even like shimmer, but ugh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a really good eye cream and it's one of their newest products out there. It's my favorite eye cream. I feel like I've been partnered with In Beauty for so long now it's been like more than half a year and genuinely like they're one of my favorite brands out there like i almost can't really do my makeup without their um face glaze because it really does give that like glow from within kind of look and i'm just obsessed with it okay and i need to do my eye makeup for this one brand and i feel like i really want to go for like a like a bronzy kind of look nothing too crazy keeping it like super neutral i have literally been obsessed with this mac studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer i was trying to look for their prolong wear concealer um and they didn't have it at this ulta 
but I tried this out and I really 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 like it also the fact that it actually has an applicator instead of how the prolonged wear concealer is where it's a pump because bro that is so much product wasted Ooh, I should probably do my eyebrows right my gosh freaking smoky follows me everywhere it's insane like he's the most needy dog ever I need to get my little Anastasia spoolie and then I'm using um, their brow freeze Dude, I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog gnawing, murdering this bone right now. But you know what? If he is entertained and not bothering me, then I am so happy and he can just make all the noise that he wants with that bone. He doesn't get into like the shoes that I actually care about. Like it's just like random shoes, like even just my slides or whatever. And if he's entertained, I'm not bothering him. He's not entertained, then he's just whining straight in my face, like wanting me to do something. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? Honestly, if you're thinking about getting a dog, maybe you should rethink it. I'm just joking. It can be so difficult sometimes. Oh my gosh. And this is like exactly why I don't want kids. You can't freaking pay me enough money to have kids. I'm gonna go in with the Bahama Mama Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. He wants up. What do you want? Uh, you were just perfectly content gnawing on your bone. Now it's my finger. Sometimes if, especially if I'm sitting at my vanity, try to like claw at me in a way to try and like get up. And then for the longest time, I thought he was just being like needy and annoying, but like, which he was, but now I know it's just because like he, if I like let him up here and sit him on my lap, he'll just fall asleep. I was really obsessed with like the undertone of this bronzer. It's a little bit more on the cool side, but it's still very warm. And I'm just gonna go all in my crease. <laughs> oh my God. He's a spaz, like he really does spaz out sometimes. If you guys get a pug, be prepared for no more silence. You will always hear them snorting, whining. So I'm taking this brown and the Nova Beauty bronze palette. Yeah, it's called their bronze palette. And I'm just gonna go on the outer part of my eye and like kind of do like a wing type of thing. He's actually trying to get, what did he do? Oh my God, he's falling asleep. Do you see how he's just kind of Resting his head, falling asleep. This guy. I really don't think I want to like add any other kind of like eyeshadow or like anything like that. But I mean, definitely some lashes. Do you guys, are you kidding? My skin looks so good and it's also very budget friendly. You guys are just going to have to see. If I post the TikTok before... I post this YouTube video, I'll have it linked down below so you guys can see exactly what I used on my face today. I just finished with um, making that video for my TikTok and I don't really know what I'm doing now. <laughs> this is literally what happens every single time that I film is I'll film something and then I have nowhere to go. I don't have anything to do. Yeah, um, my baby is sleeping right now, of course. Hello, dude. So I'm thinking I need to take Smokey out now because he just woke up from a nap and so usually when he wakes up, he needs to go potty. Oh, also on my lips, I used Nova Beauty's lip liner in the shade Nude 2 and then on top their lip gloss in the shade Thick with two C's of course. Um, but yeah, that is my lip combo. So I'm going to take little smokes on like a hot girl walk, you know, how it is. After you do a full face makeup, you gotta go on a walk.
this is the aftermath of what filming looks like <laughs> i think it's looked a lot worse but I'm just gonna like get everything cleaned up just so i don't have to worry about it later but um yeah i'm gonna chill and then kind of just like edit a little bit yeah fun stuff fun day by the way, I did get an entire storage unit um, from Ikea. These are called the Alex drawers. Pretty much every person who is into makeup knows about these storage drawers. I already do have the shorter version um, as a part of my vanity desk, but I needed like a lot of extra storage and more. I do want extra storage space just for this year for different products that I might get this year. I really don't have anything like super organized i'm thinking like this is gonna be like my lash drawer i just have like some lashes in there but i'm gonna probably end up putting some more in there stocking up this is just a bunch of lip products i don't know what to do with these like random spaces because these smaller containers don't fit right here so i probably need to find like the perfect size to go right there i want to actually get some organizers for my jewelry um, but this is just gonna be like my jewelry drawer for now. It's like at hips height So like I feel like it's kind of easy to grab I was literally dying With these drawers these two drawers that I had because they were filled both filled to the brim by the way guys um, this Gemini candle from Target smells Absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. They didn't do Gemini's dirty because it, it has a crack in it as well but it smells so good. This is probably like my favorite candle at the moment and probably ever. It's just, ugh, it smells so clean and then slightly like bougie, warm. Oh my gosh, love. I have my milk commodity perfume, which I'm obsessed with. And then just my iPad and that one book that I told you guys about earlier. So cute. It's like my little knickknack corner. You guys, this is so annoying because... <laughs> I actually get so excited. I literally get so excited when I get grocery orders. <laughs> so it's so nice because I'm actually able to order delivery with groceries. Um, it's like, I don't know if you guys have heard of Kroger, but I used to have Kroger stores, like actual stores in Ohio. And they don't have stores in Florida, but they do have delivery. So I'm constantly ordering Kroger delivery because they are way more cost effective like Publix in Florida is so expensive for no reason so yeah got some uh Kroger delivery stuff just ignore the fact that I got a huge like party size bag of Cheetos I've just been craving them I don't know why because I usually like hot Cheetos better but I've been craving the cheesy ones so freaking excited for all these groceries. Smokey's looking at me like I'm crazy. Sorry, buddy. Your mom is crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna put my groceries away now because like, I kinda wanna eat something also. Don't judge me, do not judge me, okay? It was just more cost effective to get the party size of these. They're actually not as big as I thought they would be. Actually, and I had to get my favorite sour cream and onion party size as well. I told you guys I'm trying to gain weight. I just absolutely had to get Ritz crackers for my less than bougie charcuterie board. It's not even going to be a charcuterie board. I'm just mixing crackers, some sort of meat, and cheese. <laughs> Definitely, I have been needing to get ranch and sweet and spicy barbecue sauce but sweet baby rays wait what is that off of sweet baby rays who is like obsessed with sweet baby rays some sort of celebrity i forget milk unsweetened soy milk favorite um to make iced coffee in the morning is the stoke i think that's how you say it stoke or stock um bold and smooth unsweet cold brew coffee and i always have the Oat milk cookie, silk, oat creamer. So good. Oh, so excited. Oh, yeah. We've got bacon, chicken, yum. Apples have to be honey crisp. Have to be honey crisp. If you're getting any other apples, what are you doing? 
Exactly. Avocados. Got celery to make chicken salad. I didn't really get any like canned chicken, did I? Green onion for the chicken salad. Then I might just have to go get canned chicken because it's... I'm just telling you it's so much better. It might not be healthier, but... Oh, God, it's just so much better. You know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to just make some sort of tuna salad and... Maybe only eat it with crackers, but maybe make it into a sandwich. Okay, so I just got back from the gym. Ugh. I go to the gym super late. Like, probably as of now, I've been trying to go like at 9, sometimes even 10. I lost a nail at the gym as well. Oh my god, that looks so bad. Yeah, I've been needing to schedule a nail appointment like for the longest time. And so I think this just confirmed it. I need to get my nails redone. I feel like wearing my hair like this, like halfway up, halfway down, like this was from today because I was filming or else I wouldn't just like do my hair just for the gym because that would just be like too much effort. Like I, it takes a while to do this to like, you know, with the waves and stuff. But since I already had it done, I didn't feel like taking it down and redoing it. But I actually really liked wearing my hair like this at the gym. Instead of it being completely up, because my hair is so thick and so heavy, to where I'm just constantly having to like tug to tighten it. And it just hurts in general to have my hair in a ponytail. So this was, it was fine. I actually liked it. Um, I know people have wanted me to do what workouts I do. And honestly, I'm just kind of like scared to film it. I think that's the main thing. I think hopefully if I do go with someone, it'll just be easier and they can kind of just like film clips of me instead of me having to like put it down at a weird angle. Like I, and I'm, there's no way I'm bringing a tripod. I'm just, I'm not doing that. Basically today I did, um, I started off with leg press. I was going to start off with hip thrust. There were no like stations available. So I just ended up doing leg press. Then I did hip thrust. Oh, uh, reverse lunges on the Smith machine. B stance, RDLs. And then I did step ups with a box. So my legs were burning by the end of it. Um, it was a good leg day though. All my leg days are good because I love leg days, but um, I need to do a lot more upper body. I've been getting more into upper body and I feel like I'm kind of gaining a tiny, tiny bit of strength, um, but it definitely needs to be a lot more. So I'm getting there. But yeah, it's currently 11.30 at night and I still need to go pick up some packages in my package room. So well, let's go do that. So, these are all Amazon. You guys, since I've moved to this apartment, I've never in my life ordered so many things from Amazon. Most of them are very unnecessary, I admit, but also necessary at the same time. I thought one of these is socks, because I've needed like new socks for a while. Oh no, Smokey. So spoiled. Yeah, he's obsessed with these. These are like the mini train me uh, bacon flavor treats. If you have a puppy or if you have just like any dog that needs training, they're gonna love these every time. And they're like really tiny, so you're not giving them like an entire treat every single time that they do something good. Probably, these are probably the socks. Yep, these are the socks. Let's get into the last package. Oh my. Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh, you're joking. Look how freaking beautiful. It comes with straws. Not only does it come with like a bendy straw, but just a straight one too. Are you kidding me? Those are the packages. Um, now I feel like I'm just gonna like make a protein shake, eat like a snack, I guess. Probably not gonna make a dinner. Probably just gonna make a big snack and kind of just get ready for bed and go to bed. I will probably talk to you guys in the morning when I make my cute little coffees in those cups that I just got. I look terrible, but good morning. I made my coffee in my new cup. No, but like honestly, I do get like so just like excited and happy when I have things like this because it's just cute. But I do have this this dishwasher is so loud. I might honestly try and go in my room. And so I'm pretty sure um, 
This brand is from this one makeup artist slash content creator, um, Chloe Morello. I think that's how you pronounce her name, at least her last name. This is her. Also, this is her as well. So this is her like skincare brand. And I'm just really excited to try this out for myself because I feel like a lot of people have actually just been like talking about her brand in a very good light and oh my god she is like the funniest sweetest human being like and she's just like so real like if you watch her story she's so real on her story the kind of person that you would want to follow on social media basically this right here is the eye renaissance eye shields and compact oh okay so i'm pretty sure it's what she's wearing right here and if you guys have used any sort of eye patches you know that they're usually not reusable she made reusable eye patches look at this is just this is luxury what the heck is like the um little compacts that you can keep them in because they're reusable and oh my god i'm so excited to use this of course they remind me of the chanel eye patches because of the just like design of them the pattern and everything so i just i really like the packaging it's just very clean and just like mm, you know so this is an essential nighttime treatment to completely overhaul your skin's appearance while you sleep Overnight overhaul helps minimize and improve fine lines and hyperpigmentation to reveal dewy morning skin with a radiant glow and finish. That is super nice. I'm actually really excited to kind of get more into this brand because it just seems like it's an all-around good brand. Okay, you guys, it's been like a little bit since I last vlogged. I think I didn't really do like any vlogging yesterday but today i've just been running errands i went and got my nails done these are my nails i'm literally obsessed with these i want to get them like every single time now i just really think like silver is for sure gonna be a trend this year like metallic that like kind of metal look my nail lady literally kills it every single time and these are gel x nails so they're actually a lot better for your nails um like in terms of being healthy for your nails instead of doing acrylic like i've always done which is really really bad for your nails like so many chemicals on your nails it's insane okay so i'm gonna do like a little haul for you guys so i went to this one store in tampa it's in the tampa mall called garage and i think they do it's online as well i got these blue sweatpants to match my nike dunks because i have blue and white nike dunks and i've wanted more of like a royal blue um sweatpant for a while to just kind of have like a lounging but like cool street style outfit i also have gray sweatpants um in the same exact style sweatpants from garage as well so i picked up just like this cropped zip up hoodie kind of thing um and then i got this like kind of like oversized t-shirt i honestly didn't even see what it said but it says nordic ski club stockholm champions 1989 i don't know but this is technically an extra small but since it's meant to be oversized like it has an oversized fit I'm so excited about this because i've needed like a different robe i've had like the same robe for so long like literally since like high school i needed to get a different robe and i got this one from nordstrom it kind of has like silk trim but then the rest of the fabric is like that really soft like cotton stretchy fabric and i just feel like this is like so good especially because since i live in florida it's usually not cold like outside so just in general i don't want a robe that's going to be super like hot on me i want something that's kind of airy it's lightweight it's thin and it just feels so soft um i also got the laneige water sleeping mask i used to use this a lot i haven't used this in so long but i just remember my skin just being so amazing when i was using this and just like Throughout the night, I just wake up and my skin just felt so soft and plump and 
I just love this stuff. So I saw these rings in that one store garage and I'm so mad because like they do come in different sizes. So this is like small, I think they came in medium and large, but I'm assuming these are like a size six and I usually wear a size five. I can sometimes swing a six depending on what finger I put on. They really don't fit that well, but I just love them so much that like I had to get them. Like look how cool, look how cool those are. It's so perfect because like look at my nails metallic you know what i'm saying and like edgy and these rings just go perfect yeah that is pretty much all i did today i kind of just did some errands went a little shopping because i just wanted comfy things i wanted a robe and i wanted some comfy but yet slightly stylish like loungewear i really hope you guys enjoyed like this kind of like update on my life slash just like chill vlog a lot of unboxing in this video really hope you guys enjoy this vlog and i will see you guys in my next video bye